All right, YouTube, today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of work on our Bash Tech jet boat here. We are going to see if we can add some water cooling. So previously we've tried a bunch of different motors up front uh, and what we've determined is, well, this one, uh, this is a D3542 uh, 1400 kV outrunner motor. And while it does have lots of power and does drive this thing really well, uh, this one, as well as all the other motors we've tried, do get way too hot in this boat. Um, so we're going to need to upgrade to something with water cooling. This right here is a standard 540 RC motor uh, at 3650 kV. Uh, so we're going to see how well that does in there. These 540 inrunner motors are relatively easy to cool down. You just have to direct some water through this water jacket and then out through the side of the boat. And we just got to find a place to pull some water from. From the research that I've done, it sounds like the best place to pull some water uh, from this jet drive here would be from the stator. Uh, the prop in the boat sits about here and then uh, this is the stator. We'll direct the water out of the jet drive right here, uh, back into the boat through the transom, and then it'll go through the ESC, through the water jacket, and then back out the side of the boat. All right, so here's where we're gonna pull the water from. Uh, you can see I have my stator removed from my boat here, and I have drilled a four millimeter hole and inserted this four millimeter brass tube, um, which is very thin walled. Uh, so there's, I think, about three and a half millimeters of space in there. And I've just installed it with a little bit of E6000 glue and it's flush to the inside of the stator there. I'm going to cut it off uh, maybe one centimeter out here and then uh, we'll get it back installed. We'll drill a little four millimeter hole in the back here as well and put another little piece of pipe in there and then we'll connect those two with a hose and that should be good enough to drive our water to the inside of our boat. But before we hook that up, we're just gonna give this a little bit of a test and uh, just see how much water this pulls and if we think it's gonna be sufficient for this boat. Yeah. I can see some of it going up. A little bit, eh? But just like not like really. trying. Not enough to like cool the motor down. All right, so unfortunately on that first test here, this little perpendicular pipe that I put into my stator uh, didn't provide enough flow off the jet stream in order to uh, push water through my three millimeter inside diameter hose. It pushed a little bit of water, uh, a little bit of the ways, but it definitely wouldn't be enough to cool a ESC and a motor and pump out the sides. So we're trying something else here. I'm gonna go in at an angle and then I'm gonna have it protrude a little bit on the inside can kind of see that there. Show you from behind. Just a little bit into the jet stream and we'll see how well that does. Uh, so I'll finish this off, glue it in place, get it back on and we'll do another test. It's better. Like the water came up to here and a little bit did go in at one point. This one definitely has way more force to it. And this one's actually pushing at me. Cool. I guess the first thing we learned there is that uh, water pulled off the jet stream out of a uh, three millimeter hose doesn't have enough pressure to climb more than two feet. But we also learned that the pressure coming out of here is way lower than the pressure coming out of here. So at a 45, when it's protruding into uh, the jet stream, a couple of millimeters, uh, you definitely get a lot more pressure. You could tell that because it did climb the hose most of the way, whereas it barely climbed the hose at all with this one. And also I could feel it with my thumb. This one felt uh, just way, way more pressure than this one did. So we're going to go with this one here. So now we'll get it all hooked up, put back together, all the hoses run, and uh, we'll give it another test run and see if we can't get water to go all the way through all the components. And then exiting here um, through our little side outlet nipple in the side of the boat.
All right, so that was a pretty good run there on a 2S LiPo. Uh, we checked the heat of both the motor and the ASC, and nothing seemed to get above about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is great. Uh, we're looking for everything to stay under at least 150. So we're gonna try here on a 3S 50C LiPo and uh, see how we do. Should be a little bit faster and even get a little bit hotter, but hopefully the water cooling holds up. We'll see. Alright, so I've been playing around with our jet boat here over the last couple days, testing out the water cooling. It seems to be working very, very well. 2S, 3S LiPo, I've been able to run around on the lake and I haven't seen any temperatures over 100. It is a bit hard to max out a 3S LiPo with this motor. I think this one's around 3600 kV and that's probably a bit too high for this model. So if I were to do it again, I'd probably go for something closer to the mid to low 2000s. Also, one big thing to note is that anytime there's any sort of chop in the water and uh, this thing gets airborne, it sucks air into the intake and then the prop just spins and doesn't suck any water. So then you have to back off the throttle a little bit, let the water fill into the jet intake cavity and then it takes off again. So flat water is definitely recommended for this guy. Also, I have noticed some water getting into this cavity here. And I think that's mostly through this TPU seal here. The screws that hold the cover down here just sink into this plastic and from taking the cover on and off and on and off again, I kind of wore those holes out so they weren't holding the cover down super tight. And so what I've done is install these little uh, heat set inserts here that are threaded for M3 screws and hopefully that fixes that in the future um, and allows that cover to go down nice and tight. But I guess time will tell. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration on installing water cooling into a 3D printed jet boat. Uh, if you did, please give us a like or subscribe, it really helps us out. And if you're looking for any cool ideas of 3D printable RC projects to build, kits to build them, parts or instructions, make sure you check us out at www.rcprinter.com. Till next time.